Hey students, I'm back to remind you again about your three, two, one strategy. So whenever you're reading a passage, it helps you understand what you're learning. Ahead. So one thing I like for us to do is do the three and the two and the one. So for three, three stands for three things that you learned about the story or about the passage. So if it's nonfiction, it would be three facts that you learn. If it's fiction, it would be three things that happen that you learned about in the story, right? The two is for the two um, interesting facts that you learned, something that you thought was really interesting or cool. And if you really weren't sure about that, then you could pick two vocabulary words that you think are really important to the story. And you could write those down and what they mean. The other one is the last one for number one. One is where you get to choose um, one question that you had while you were reading or one you still have. Or maybe you really didn't have any questions. So you would do a connection, one connection to the story that you had. So something that that it made you think about or something that you've seen or heard about before or any type of connection like that. So today, when you read this passage, I want you to be thinking about the three things that you're learning, the two things that are interesting or vocabulary words, and one question that you have or one connection that you have. Okay, good luck. You're going to do great.